Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer. Saladin, just wants to protect everyone, Saladin is the best frame in concept, just big mech, big shield, and big hug, it just has such a large amount of health and heat cap, its armor is also unbreakable, has more shield to throw at anyone, and of course, Guardian, even its core power is just more protect, and its only problem is just slow, and has only one weapon mount but dealing damage isn't exactly the point of Saladin anyway. And ever since Field Guide to KTV comes out, Saladin has been, upgraded. In the following 40 Saladin builds, you will find a lot of Enclave Support Shield, Flash Anchor, and Noah, because these are very good and easy to use defensive systems to guard your allies with. Hard Light Defense System get used less often because it's a bit situational and Noah is right there at the same system's point price, Shatterhead is not oftenly used either, though its decent hit chance can be somewhat helpful, and then there's Paracausal mod which sits at a unique place because it's a massive offensive upgrade in an otherwise very defensive license. To say the very least, it can be very good when used right. As for the role, obviously Saladin is a defender by nature, but its decent sensor range allows it to perform both support and controller role decently, and with Paracausal mod, sometimes shit get crazy with the more offensive role, anyway we are going with the defender support build first. Bubble Buddy is a no-nonsense Saladin build that can protect your allies with Noah and Enclave, and support them with Accelerate and Leader, and with Auto Cooling plus Heat Fall, you can easily overcharge for more action for more protect and support, in addition, with House Guard, Guardian got even better and Noah is even easier to use, so you can protect your allies with ease, it's just so simple to use. Groundborn Warning and Control System is almost the same build, but now has an Uncle Shatterhead so it can always do damage support, even at small amount, also packing hard light and stasis bolt and generator for a lot of defensive potential. Is that still not enough protection, why not give you allies over shield, like this half emperor saladin build called big sal, shield of the skies, that can also fly everywhere with ace, making the slow speed of big sal not a problem for mobility at all. Conveniently, saladin is an armory mech, so it can have easy access to integrated ammo feed for even more charges, so you can throw those Emperor systems whenever you feel like it. Gracious Guardian is a half Sunza Saladin that likes to get close fast, using Exemplar to keep enemy attention on it, while the Blink Space Tunnel on its back put its team on the front line, it even has real space breach to have both itself and its allies shoot someone around a corner, combines that with House Guard and all the Saladin systems, this makes for one potent speedy defender. We already talked about an half Emperor Saladin, how about a half White Witch one with Bastion of a brighter future, so here's the thing about Enclave Support Shield, it immobilizes you, so using Pharaoh Lance to immobilize someone else won't really bother you, and since you won't be moving much, why not get Spotter so your allies can kill enemies even more effectively. Having Sympathetic Shield and Camu Razor also lets you take even more damage for your allies, keeping them perfectly safe. You know what, you are expecting this at this point, this is Big Sal's tow truck, a battle taxi Saladin that has a cable winch to pull in one extra customer, Defender, support, this thing do both well, and quad light nexus with gunslinger is going to hurt a lot. Salaban, is such a good fucking name, is also a Fomorian battle taxi saladin with juggernaut to ram through everything at rush hour, black spot to give more accuracy to allies, pebcock for tech support, and black thumb for patching up, but without an AI system in sight, that might be a tad difficult to use. Don't forget to bring your personal bubble shield is a very simple idea, Cable winch a fast striker buddy, activate hard light, and let them drag you around like a personal bubble shield, enemy won't come to you in fear of the burning shield layer, move it towards them and burn them anyway, add in house guard, bonded, and argonaut shield, your striker buddy will love you very much. That one guy who sits on his phone during session, you know who you are, is a swarm body saladin that also has hard light and wandering nightmare to be an enormous pain in the butt when sitting at a choke point on the map, also has held image and spotter to support any nearby allies, and if that's not enough damage, you have an OP Cal Unraveler. And finally, there's Tinken Trinity, Technophile, Sisyphus, and Noah, 3 NHP stuck in a single Saladin for a lot of support and defense everywhere, even comes with universal comp so if you get lucky, you can potentially use Tachyon loop more than once, and since this thing is going full defending and supporting anyway, 
an auto gun frees up a lot of actions without giving up damage. And that's all on the Defender Support Saladin, it is practically made for this role, the decent sensor range and systems points really help it out too, you can just pack so much crap in this big mech that you can really just do whatever you want, anyway, let's move on to the second most numerous build, the Defender Artillery. Trick Shooter is a paracausal smart gun crack shot Saladin, that can see all targets within sensor no matter what, and go through their defense no matter what, add in nuclear cavalier for bonus damage and walking armory for hellfire rounds, this can be a very dangerous Saladin. I'm the artillery now is a paracausal vulture Saladin instead, one with enclave shield to further protect itself and its allies without impairing accuracy, and reactive weave to get out of dodge fast, not that it really needs it with that much health. Eraser shield is instead a paracausal displacer Saladin, because someone decided that displacer isn't insane enough, also has stasis barrier and blink shield to block off enemies as needed. Of or belonging to gun, is a LBOC cloaking field Saladin with oracle spam for a lot of pain, with allies turning invisible, 50% of incoming attack will just outright miss, and that's very good, however that doesn't stack with Noah so, it's a bit weird having both, but I guess it serves as backup with unlucky structure roll. Sally is a just dual auto gun Saladin with Noah so you can just spam Noah every goddamn turn without worrying that you aren't doing enough damage, and if that's not enough, there's heat fall to overcharge for more action. Turret mode Saladin is a Saladin with dual brutal neurolinked stabilized assault cannons with trollic of all things so when in range, you will find it very hard to miss, you actually want to miss anyway so you can deal all the reliable damage, also comes with enclave so the enemy have a hard time shooting you back if they aren't busy dying yet. Finally, there's the postman always delivers, another uncle shatterhead Saladin with EXT bat for more range and stormbringer to knock the crap out of your enemies, letting you do pain to the enemies for free while continuing to support your allies, though it only has a single extra missile rack, with gunslinger, and area of effect attack, it can charge up easily and quickly for a painful hit. And that's all on the defender artillery Saladin, still good at defending, and quite good at dealing pain, of course a very defensive license would pack something that could counter it completely, now, let's move to the defender striker. My face is my shield is a vanguard paracausal DSAS exemplar Saladin that just wants to get close and kill everyone, you should activate hyperdense armor when close to become even tougher and hard light to trap your victims and make them think twice on escaping. Th aren't you tired of being nice, don't you wanna go ape shit, is a Sikamet Saladin with of all things, dual paracausal knives, with auto stab, also reinforced cabling to pull people like a murderous spider-man, my only question is why hunter isn't here because the Saladin clearly needs more mobility and also it gives one extra knife attack. Burning Arc is a half Manticore Saladin, with more catalyst pistols than god plus gunslinger and vanguard for a very painful experience, and as if that's not enough, it has lightning generator and EMP pulse for a lot of up close pain, and honestly Saladin is tough enough that being stunned isn't a problem. No items, final destination, is an OC loop catalytic hammer exemplar Saladin that wants to get close, duel with enemy, and just keeps overcharging and punching the carp out of its victim, with hyperdense armor for more protection, hunter lock for more damage, and jump jet just to get over things. Lastly, there's a helping hand, to bear your burdens, to eat their sins, a half lich saladin with a OP calparacausal unraveler, but that's surprisingly not the main point, with anti-linear time and immunity to shredded and impaired, this saladin can absorb conditions for allies too, and if they really need help, stasis generator is there to freeze their problems. And that's all on the defender striker saladin, with how tough saladin is, it can work very well up close too, just taking all the hits while smashing the enemy in return, anyway, let's get going with the defender controller builds. Your friendly neighborhood nuclear bunker is a dual concussion missile saladin that can protect everyone around it and send hostiles flying away with stormbringer, other than that, stasis bolt, argonaut shield, and Aegis Shield just work really well defending your allies, Argonaut Shield also benefits from House Guard for extended range too. Guardian's Gaze is a Scylla Saladin with dual pistols to bring a bit of pain, but mostly it's going to stay near an allies using Mimic Mesh to provide them aid with Bonded, Scorpion, and of course, Scylla, with House Guard to extend the range and provide more protection, also grounding charges to make an enemy very slow. Evil Tub Thumping by Chumbawamba is a half blad Saladin with Vanguard Impaler to immobilize everything that gets close, with plenty of explosive charges and spiky stuffs to make enemies think twice on getting near you. Too Many Voice is another triple NHP Saladin, now with Technophile, Noah, and Osiris instead to hack the shit out of someone, 
also has full Hor OS set for just any options you want to deal with any circumstances, plus heat fall for cheap overcharge for more actions. Finally, we have Lieutenant Fusilier I mean Lieutenant Sal, a very simple Saladin with guns, shields, and drones to annoy the heck out of the enemies, like Sentinel and Ice Out drones, Drone Commander Talent is also very good at both providing support and destroying the enemies. And that's all on the Defender Controller Saladin, 10 sensor range just works very well, and with how tough Saladin can be, it can easily afford to get close to throw conditions and effects at enemies with ease. Now, that's all 40 Saladin builds finished, once again I would like to thank all of my viewers who have submitted their builds for this episode, seeing such a variety on Saladin builds is just very nice, and also a lot less complicated than all the builds I got from controller frames, anyway, here's the topic for the next episode, that's all for now and I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.